This is Green Thumb Boy. It's written from the perspective of Dr. L. H. Pamel, who was one of Dr. Carver's professors when he was still a student at Iowa State College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts in the 1890s. It was an all white college back then because America still had segregated education. Carver was the only African-American student. While he was there, he was so brilliant. He changed our understanding of the natural world. Pretty soon they had him giving a class to teach and they were calling him doctor. And all the while, he wasn't just working on what's the world around us, he was working on the world inside of us. And he changed everyone he met. So here's the poem. As a professor, it's one of my favorites. Green Thumb Boy, Dr. L. H. Pamel. Hybridization, crossbreeding, evolution. He takes to new theories like a puppy takes to ice cream. We whisper that our Green Thumb Boy is the Black Mandel, that Darwin would have made good use of Carver's eyes. So clear his gift for observation, the best collector I've known. I think we have an entirely new species of Pseudocer cospera. And always in that threadbare lapel, a flower. Even in January, I never asked how. We had doubts about giving him a class to teach, but he's done a bang up job, that greenhouse. His students see the light of genius through the dusky window of his skin. Just yesterday, that new boy, what's his name, from Arkansas, tried to raise a ruckus when Carver put his dinner tray down. He cleared his throat, stared, rattled his own tray, scraped his chair legs in a rush to move away. Carver ate on in silence. Then the boys, at the table the new boy had moved to, cleared their throats, rattled their trays, scraped their chair legs as they got up and moved to Carver's table. Something about that man does that raises the best in you. I never asked what. I guess I'll put his name next to mine on that article I'm sending out.